As ordinary Americans cope with the economic impacts of coronavirus, the White House announced it was pushing Congress to make immediate cash payments to struggling Americans. What we've heard from hardworking Americans, many companies have now shut down, whether it's bars or restaurants. Americans need cash now, and the president wants to get cash now. And I mean now in the next two weeks. Congress has already put forward a bill to provide sick leave, as well as food assistance to children and the elderly. It still needs to pass the Republican-controlled Senate before U.S. President Donald Trump can sign it into law. But the new proposed payments, which also need to be approved by Congress, would be part of a package worth more than a trillion dollars that will include help for the airline and other industries hit hard by the slowdown in business. This is worse than 9-11 for the airline industry. We're going big with this invisible enemy. We don't want airlines going out of business. We don't want people losing their jobs. The hotel industry has also been hard hit. On Tuesday, Marriott, the world's largest hotel company, started furloughing thousands of employees as their hotels see fewer customers. But it's not just the economy that has the White House worried. It says public health remains a priority. On standby in New York, the Army Corps of Engineers to increase hospital capacity in response to the pandemic. New York remains one of the states with a high cluster of coronavirus cases. My hunch is it would probably be quicker if it's done at the state or local level. But if we can do it quicker, we should, we, we, we're prepared to do that. But I think at this point, the key is speed. Still, there are signs it will be weeks, if not months, before life returns to normal. Beloved events like the Kentucky Derby horse race now delayed until September. And in an election year, the Ohio presidential nominating contest was also called off. The American Red Cross on Tuesday also put out a call for blood donations. The Coronavirus Task Force here at the White House says the next two weeks will be critical for containing the virus. That's why it's urging young people to abide by public health warnings to ensure more vulnerable Americans aren't exposed. Kimberly Helkett, Al Jazeera, the White House.